Hi, and welcome to another Breezy Built tutorial. Uh, today's topic, uh, say somebody hacks into your blog and puts a piece of script in there and they've done it to every single post and you have hundreds of posts and you just want to get rid of it. Um, so an easy way to do that is go over to your my P, or PHP my admin and what you'll want to do is export where all the posts are at. So then you can go use something like Dreamweaver or Notepad and find and replace the piece of code in there. So that's what we're going to do. So if you look along the side here, you'll see WP Post. Uh, yours might not have WP before, it just might be Post or whatever you have it as. And then we'll hit Export. And we'll export it as a SQL. And what we'll do is hit Go. Copy all that, then go over here to Dreamweaver, and I'm just going to open a blank HTML, copy all that, and paste over it. Okay, so now I have my WordPress post. So I'm going to go down here on the bottom and I'm going to look for search and I'm going to hit that little green button and it's going to pull up a little box there of what I can search for and what I can do to replace it. So I'm going to go back to the blog and I'm going to grab that piece of bad code and for this particular one it's going to look something like this. So I'll copy that go back here and I'm going to do find and I'm going to tell it to replace it with nothing and then I'm going to hit replace all so that should all be replaced now so I'll copy all this again go back over to PHP my admin okay so I'm going to go into PHP my admin or MySQL my admin and uh, I'm going to look for post and I'm going to actually delete that in the structure. And then if we go back to to the website and actually refresh it, you'll see there'll be nothing there. So yeah, there's nothing there. Just blank, plain. So we'll go back over here. And I'll hit SQL. Copy over that and paste everything that I just did. And then hit go. And there we have our post back. And go back to the website, refresh it. And everything's back to normal. Now what we'll want to do also, we'll want to go back to the WordPress uh, back office area and we'll go ahead and we'll refresh that edit and this code should disappear. And that is gone. Awesome.